Hi, I'm Mac Watson from Mac and Gatos. So it's been over a week since the election, or the re-election. Has anything really changed? Well, we know that the balance of power didn't change in the House, the Senate, or the Oval Office, thus giving us a status quo government, okay? But has the president changed? Has the president changed the way he will govern? Well, I'm here to say, uh, no. Big no. Don't believe me? Just look at what happened at his first press conference in eight months. Yes, eight months. You would think a person would learn from low approval numbers that maybe, just maybe, it's a good idea to change a little bit. Change in attitude, change in latitude. Time to turn over a new leaf, so to speak. Instead, what did we see? Same old president, same puerile defiance, and unwavering delusional pomposity. If Senator McCain and Senator Graham and others want to go after somebody, they should go after me. And I'm happy to have that discussion with them. But for them to go after the UN ambassador, who had nothing to do with Benghazi, and was simply making a presentation based on intelligence that she had received, and to, to besmirch her reputation, is outrageous. And, you know, we're after an election now. Instead of the president changing his ways, giving an answer that the American people deserve, being honest about what exactly happened in Benghazi and when did the White House know about it, what does he do? No, what does he do? He praises Ambassador Rice for doing what she had to do, which was regurgitate falsehoods and lies that the White House had created. Look, Mr. President, Every time you try to answer a question about Libya, the American people know you're lying. Stop sticking to the old playbook. It doesn't work, it's shameful, and quite frankly, it's insulting our collective intelligence. In your own words, the election's over, so why not tell the truth? It's like when you catch a kid with chocolate smeared all over their face and they swear up and down, they didn't need any cookies. Cookies, what are you talking about? Everything's fine, right? No, it's not fine. In fact, it's worse. Just when I thought this man had gotten the message, just when I had a glimmer of hope that this man would stop being the TMZ president and start being an elder statesman, just when I thought he would change the way he would govern his second term in office, he sticks to the same reticence and defiance that plagued his first term. Sticking to a lie doesn't make you a good president. Right, Richard Nixon? Look. What's the saying? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me a second term and you get the picture. If you want to see more, go to the Mac and Gato show page at KTAR.com. It's highly rated.